What's up guys, Chicks here from Chicks Tech Reviews. So today I've got my hands on the amazing Xiaomi Mija 4K action camera. So here we have another native 4K action camera with 6 axes, electronic image stabilization, a 2.4 inch touchscreen and quite a large battery. So by the end of the review we will be comparing the Xiaomi Mija 4K with all the latest popular action cameras of 2018 and we will find out exactly how good the Xiaomi Mija really is. So let's just get it out of the box and see what it looks like. So this is everything you get in the box. You have an instruction manual, a micro USB charging cable, the battery. Now this is not an ordinary battery. This is one of the largest capacities I have ever seen in an action camera. You have 1450 milliamps, which should give you around two hours of non-stop video recording at 4K. So I'm quite excited to test out this battery. Last but not least, the action camera itself. So here it is guys, the Xiaomi Mija 4K. You cannot expect anything but pure quality when it comes to a Xiaomi product. So this feels really nice in the hands, it's ultra premium. So on the front we have a 145 degree wide angle lens which can shoot up to 8 megapixel photos and a maximum of 4K videos at 30 frames per second. Now this camera also supports 6 axis electronic image stabilization which we will be testing in a bit. Now on the back we have a 2.4 inch IPS touch screen. So usually these action cameras come with a 2 inch screen. This one has a slightly larger 2.4 inch and it's touch screen. The camera also has built in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth so you can connect this to your smartphone and use it as a wireless viewfinder. So let's go through all the ports. So on the top you have your power button, your speaker, on the side we have a latch which opens up to a micro USB charging port and at the bottom of the camera we have a tripod screw which I always find very useful um, and I wish all action cameras come with a tripod screw as standard. Now you've also got a battery compartment here and I will install the battery that simply goes in like that. Now at the top of the battery compartment you have a small slot there for your micro SD card and this supports a maximum of 64 gigs. That is pretty much it. You've got touch screen and one button. So let's power on. These are the memory cards that are recommended for 4K. So what you really need to get is something with a U3 speed. It's nice that it tells you everything on screen. This is pretty cool. All right, I haven't got much batteries, but I'll give you a quick overview. So when you swipe to the right, you've got all your options from photo or video. I want to check out the settings. So here, here are the settings. You've got 4K at 30 frames per second. You've got 2K at 30 frames, and you've also got 1080p at 100 frames or 60 frames. And it goes all the way down to 720p at 200 frames per second, which is ridiculous. Quality is on fine. We'll leave it there. Super fine. Adjust lens distortions. You've got mic mute, stamp, auto record, metering. What I'm looking for is the stabilization option, which I haven't seen yet. Now the EIS option has appeared. Now I have already read that this only supports electronic image stabilization in two modes, which are 1080p at 60 frames and 1080p at 30 frames. Now to prove that, if I go back to resolution and go to 60 frames, EIS should still be on. Now if I go higher, say 2K, actually we'll check out 100 frames, EIS has disappeared. EIS. And finally we'll check out 4K and yeah there is no EIS. So, so the image stabilization is only supported in two modes which is 1080p at 60 frames or 1080p at 30 frames. That is a shame because I really wanted to see 4K with electronic image stabilization. Nevertheless we will test this camera out fully and find out how good it records with or without EIS. So I'm going to take this for a spin and we're going to find out how good this camera really is. I'll be right back.
It's actually six o'clock in the morning, people. I'm up, I'm up bright and early to get some morning footage for you guys as I gotta get back in the office and I got so much editing to do. So I like to start nice and early. All right, so we're gonna test the image stabilization by jogging. So let's do a light jog and see what happens to the stabilization. So I've come out six o'clock in the morning with the Xiaomi Mija and we're doing a camera test to check out the quality of this camera. So we're shooting 1080p video at 60 frames per second. This is what the quality looks like. We've got electronic image stabilization is on. One occasion when I come out for a jog I actually come here on the tracks early in the morning four o'clock five o'clock and that used to be my old routine when I used to do boxing and I guess that stays with you you don't lose that so there you have it guys that was the Xiaomi Mija 4k action camera so let's break it down with some pros and cons so you guys have seen the samples, now here are my final thoughts. In my experience with this camera, the video quality was shaky or intermittently blurry regardless of EIS being on or off. However, photo quality was outstanding although shutter speed was quite slow. The audio recorded even on a windy day sounds clear and does not distort with the wind, so great audio quality. Furthermore, there are no extras provided, no remote, no waterproof case or any other accessory. Electronic image stabilization is only available at 1080p, 60 and 30 frames per second. So bottom line, whilst the build quality and photos look amazing on this camera, I feel there are definitely better native 4K action cameras out there for a similar price. Do check out my top action camera chart for 2018 so you can compare the features and prices of all the best 2018 action cameras. There are so many action cameras out there and sometimes even a branded item can let you down. I hope you guys find this video useful and I hope it gives you a better understanding of how good this action camera really is. And with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.